Hi guys, this is just a quick video on my Nepenthes Spectabilis. I just pulled it out of the front corner of the greenhouse there. I was doing a little bit of maintenance on it, trimming off some dead leaves and it had a dead picture on it. But it's looking really good right now so I thought I'd make a quick video of it. In the greenhouse right now because it is winter, it grows basically under artificial lights. It is in the brightest spot in the greenhouse, so when the sun does come out, it does get some natural light as well. So it stands probably two and a half feet tall, and right now it has one, two, three, four, five, six pictures on it. The pictures are quite cool. They're sort of a blacky brown spotted. It's a nice little lip. Beautiful color pattern on them. And they're not the biggest pictures on the that I have on a plant, but they're probably six inches each. I'll bring it up here and I'll show you the flower. Now Maybe somebody out there watching the video can tell me if the um, flower is a male or a female. I have no idea, I'm afraid. But this is the second year in a row that it's flowered, so that's kind of cool. Now I notice that just looking over it, last year it flowered actually right here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And that was a, almost the tallest part of the plant last year. So. From there, it has basically doubled in size in the last year, if not maybe a little more. Sorry about the light behind it. It's a good silhouette, but so as I say, from the middle of the hanging plant hook there to the top there. Here's a close-up of one of the pictures. Now this is a Highland Nepenthes, so I give it what I would consider intermediate conditions. In the daytime, in the winter, the highs are probably 70 degrees. Uh, in the summertime, the highs are probably 85 degrees in the greenhouse. Uh, both in summer and winter, the nighttime lows are about 55 degrees. shot of all the markings on it. The nighttime drop in temperature is key to the highland species. And it works out good for me because the temperature naturally drops at night in the greenhouse, so I don't have to worry about keeping it too too warm. In the summertime this plant does get Lots of fairly bright direct sunlight. Um, it sits in the spot where it doesn't get quite noonday sun, but it gets everything uh, besides that. It pitchers and grows a lot faster in the summertime. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.